Welcome back to the High Shot Dave channel. Unfortunately, today we're going to talk about me wrecking and totaling my 96 Freightliner FLD 120 that happened this morning. So, the this is the result. There's one here, some here. You know, the result of what happened. Uh, we're going to go through the dash cam video and we're going to see what happened. And I'm going to tell you right now, I, I don't know how it happened. And also, I didn't, I don't know how it didn't happen. And when you see this video, you're going to know exactly what did and did not happen. Let's roll that footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. That was the old dog said. So as you see, we're rolling up here. Look at the roads are really, really wet. Um, you know, we're, we're just rolling along, doing a little under the speed limit, you know, car stop get over i slow down you know it there, there's no there's no problem i didn't have any break in there any trouble with that um you know and now we're, we're coming up onto this hill you know as you can see all the spray coming off the road and if you look at it like some of the spots are are like patchier and thicker water than others um these roads these are not your normal concave roads. I don't know why Pennsylvania doesn't do that, but they don't. Um, so now we're going over this hill. And this is where, um, you know, this is where it happens. So now if you see we're coming up, they're slowing down. But now if you look right now, you cannot see. Like my visibility was going so much, you cannot see really lights in front of that car that's in front of me now i'm on i'm off of the fuel i'm on the brakes and i'm starting to slow down and i'm hitting the brakes and it's just sliding it's just sliding because now i can see them in front of them you know and now i'm still pumping and at this point right here is where i slam on the brakes and thinking it's going to stop and it just slides out of control you see there's the trash truck and now let's go back to that a minute let's go back one second now if you see there's the trash truck now look how close look at that right there that is what i'm talking about didn't happen like i i'm just so grateful that i did not hit and harm that lady i'm sure i shook her up and she took she she left you know she didn't nobody waited and stopped in this situation so which tells me you know they realized i wasn't at fault but now we're going to keep going and if you if you look see that that car right there in front of me now look back here boom there she is now look at how i swung around her 60 feet you're going to tell me that didn't make her pucker. So, with, with all of this, you know, that lady, as you see, she was worried about me. She gets out and she comes up to check on me. Nobody else. Like, up in the, the red truck over there, you can see it's sitting there. But after a while, they take off. Um, like, this video is going to end soon. You're, you're not going to see me really pulling out. But... I was able to pull out of the ditch. There you can see that lady running over and checking on me. You know, which I, I appreciate. Um, now, now, I'm going to tell you, this accident with this truck, um, I, I believe, now, I now wholeheartedly believe in semis. Um, I spun this truck around. I went into the ditch. It got slammed with the trailer. And all it did was jarred me back and forth. Um, I believe if I was in a pickup truck, it would have got ugly, a lot uglier. Now, I also believe if I was loaded, I would have stopped. I think that truck would have stopped if I was loaded. Um, and you can see here that semis there, you know, they, uh, everybody was was very good like just kind of watching what was going on but the minute i drove the truck out i, I guess they realized i'm okay 
the truck's driveway, and that's where everybody left. So, now let's talk about the damage of the truck. So, as you can see in these pictures, the sleeper is demolished. Um, and unfortunately, that sleeper is one piece of that cab. So, which means you, you can't just replace it. And it's buckled in so many different places that it, um, you know, it just can't really be repaired to the way it was before the accident. And, you know, it, it's kind of got me upset because this was a really, really nice truck. Um, now, I'm probably going to keep the truck. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet, but I probably am going to keep it. Um, the As you can see, the fender flares there, the skirting is trashed. Uh, that fuel tank underneath of it's trashed. The brackets are trashed. Um, it, it's all cosmetic. Like I said, I drive drove it home, no problems. Uh, also, the front fender, the driver's side, uh, that's kind of, you know, shot out a little bit there. You know, it's not much, but it's just enough. So, you know, more damage. And you can see the hood here or the bumper. I believe... When I went down into the ditch is where this stuff came from. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's where that came from. So, guys, that was uh, – what a ride, man. What a ride. Like, you can – you could see it in the video, but I tell you what, you cannot appreciate it till you're there. And, you know, I, I, I've had a similar situation in a pickup truck. And the outcome was nothing like this. It was $9,000 in damage. The, the whole front suspension was bad. The whole axles were bad. Everything was bad. Essentially, this was just a spin out and a jackknife is what happened here. You know? Um, I mean, obviously, if the roads weren't wet, it wouldn't have happened at all. You know? So, it, it's... Uh, we're just going to wait and see what's going on with what the insurance says. Hopefully they call, you know, today or tomorrow. But uh, I, I don't know, guys. It's uh, definitely going to put a spin on some things. So we'll see where it goes. I'm not sure. But uh, I'll keep you up to date and uh, we'll do some follow-ups. But until then, like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding, ding. So you get some notifications when we go live and tell you the good, bad, the ugly, and even the super ugly. Make sure when you hit that dang, dang, i.e. bell, that you click on it and hit all. So you get all my notifications when I go live, do the spot, Sunday spotlight, or when I do recorded videos like this. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.